here's an odd thought. Two row SUVs are actually big hatchbacks. Bear with me for a second. They're go anywhere, do anything. Vehicles with a lot of cargo space and a lot of capability. Don't believe me? Well, check out cars like the Cayenne and the Range Rover. They're sporty and off-roadable. And the 2019 Audi Q8 joins that fray. Is it a weird segment, you ask? I don't think so. Cars like the Bentayga, the Urus, and even Mercedes's venerable G-Wagon prove that there is a market for two-row SUVs that's only growing. Since the Q8's all new, there's really no previous model to go off of on appearance, but compared to Audi's other SUVs, there's a lot of changes. This angular design is all new, and in particular, Audi files specifically will notice the vertical strakes. Uh, Audi calls this a mask, and this particular model has the black optic package, which makes this surround black. And another one of Audi's trademark design elements are these LED headlights. There are two available, and they're both LEDs. The standard model just uses traditional LED elements and they basically work like a uh, bi-xenon or a halogen light. But the option headlight is the HD matrix beam headlights and that uses a lot more LEDs to selectively turn on and off to be able to direct the light beam where it needs to go. Unfortunately, that functionality is not available in the United States. Audi is very hopeful that the regulations will pass that will allow that to happen. And if that does, a software update will make that functionality active. Here on the side of the Q8, it's pretty much typical Audi. A lot of good body creases, the lines all flow very well. One of the things that Audi was very specific about mentioning is this C-pillar, this rearmost uh, buttress, if you will. It's supposed to look like the same C-pillar angle on Audi's famous Sport Quattro uh, rally hatchback. Honestly, it does look good, and the benefit of it is it has a high roof line to keep headroom really good for rear seat passengers. Another thing that they have is frameless doors just like their sports cars. Now, frameless doors look cool, but they introduce some noise. So Audi made sure to put dual pane glass on all the Q8s. Uh, one of the things that Audi really wanted to do is have a really big door opening so that you can get in and out really easily. But some things that parents will really appreciate is the four zone climate control locks out when you turn on the child safety locks and the cover for the panoramic roof, it's not a mesh, it's solid. So child or even you, if you don't like it, won't get the full brunt of the sun. Another area where the Q8 differentiates itself from its more coupe roofline SUVs is here in the trunk. Due to the strong C pillar and the roofline angle, the space back here is actually extremely usable. The seats fold down 40, 20, 40, so long skis, odd shaped uh, luggage can all fit. And again, that high roofline means you can stack stuff pretty high. Audi says the Q8 is their new flagship, but you might be asking, they've got the Q7 and that's a three row seven seater SUV and you'd be right. So how is the Q8 the flagship? Well, simply it's dynamically a better vehicle. It doesn't have the compromise that the Q7 has in order to have that third row. So who would buy the Q8? Well, somebody that prefers the driving dynamic and really doesn't need that third row. But having said that, Audi made sure to have the Q8 still be very functional for families. Under the hood of the new Q8 is pretty much the same powertrain that's been out in the A6, A7, and A8. It's a turbocharged V6 with an 8-speed automatic. Uh, it's a mild hybrid uh, so that it has very smooth start-stop characteristics and it gives you a little bit extra charge, if you will, on initial acceleration. It makes 335 horsepower and frankly, it performs very well. One difference though is this, uh, compared to the Audi sedans, is that this has a 40-60 split quattro system. And while the system is adaptive, I meaning you can send power front and rear as needed, it likes to sit at 40-60 with a bias towards the rear. That means the Q8 through corners kind of takes on a more rear drive car feeling, which kind of enhances its sportiness. This particular model has the optional sport package, which includes air suspension, which allows you to change the ride height which is really great if you like to do a little bit of off-roading because you can increase the ground clearance, or if you load a lot of cargo, you can actually drop the floor uh, to make the lift over height a little bit lower. But more importantly, the sport package also gets you rear steer, uh, which makes this Q8, while a big SUV, it makes it handle like one that's much smaller. Having been in the car for over eight hours, I feel like I've drawn a fairly good conclusion about the new 2019 Audi Q8. At the beginning of this video, I asked a couple questions. Number one, is there a good market for a two-row lifestyle-oriented SUV? Well, the answer to that question is absolutely yes. Uh, SUVs, particularly in the luxury segment, are blowing up like crazy. 
Audi would be absolutely remiss not to have something to compete in that category. And number two, is the Q8 a good version of that? And again, that answer is yes. They were able to combine very good and aggressive looks while still keeping it very functional. That additional roof height in the back makes those rear seats absolutely livable. And uh, you can fit four adults, absolutely no problem. Your kids fit in there, no problem. It really makes you wonder if you need that kind of uh, three row look, the kind of the bigger, bulkier look. I don't think so. On the flip side, the Q8 presents a good value. A uh, starting price is a little over $67,000 and a well-equipped one is just over $75,000. So thumbs up for that. We can't wait to get the Q8 and its competitors in the office for a possible comparison test. Stay tuned.